Okay, I'm back at Heartland Bike Park for episode two of the Route series. Uh, it's been a little bit since I published the first episode because I was having some issues with my GoPro. I'd actually come out a, more than a few times and I had failures in about four straight rides. So I'm hoping that I have solved that issue. So if you're watching this, it was solved at least for the time being. So we're starting off on Easy Rider. Like I said during the first episode, a lot of the trails are gonna be the same at beginning edge of rides at Heartland. So this is gonna be one of those times. So we're gonna do Easy Rider till we get to Skull, go up Skill, then to Inventive. And then we will make our way up to Middle Earth. So here we go. So we just did a right hand turn on the skull trail and we'll start gaining some elevation doing this switch backy kind of climb on skull. So we're quickly coming to the end of Skull Trail and we'll do a left on the service road and go to Inventive. So we do a left on Inventive. It's, a lot of the water has sunk in since the weekend because it was like a river in here flowing. And then down the rock roll that I usually do. So we're quickly coming to the end of Inventive. And then we cut into Little Face. And this is an optional go up the rock and down the rock. You can simply go around as well and down. Now here you can stay on Little Face if you go to the left. I climb up the new Little Face Trail, which is, it connects back into Little Face. It's just sort of like a switchbacky kind of trail to gain a little bit of elevation. Nothing too difficult about it. Blue Intermediate Trail. And then we just did a right hand turn up a new Little Face Trail back on to Little Face. And then what we'll do is we'll carry on with this until we get to Wild Stallion and we'll do a left on Wild Stallion. Rock roll. That's an optional rock roll. You can simply just go to the left of it. Now we're at the top of the little face. We do a left hand turn onto Wild Stallion. Also previously called Crazy Horse. And on this there's a op couple optional rock rolls that I do. You certainly don't have to do them. You can just stay right on the main trail. This is the first rock roll. So 
So we're at the top of the rock roll now. I go to the steepest section, which isn't too bad. And you can actually just creep down it pretty good, even when it's wet like this. Very good. We do a left, and then we go to Roller Ridge Connector. And then right on Roller Ridge Connector. And we'll ride that up until we get to Rolly Ridge, which isn't too far. It's a short little trail. And then we climb a little rock roll to get to Rolly Ridge. And then we intersect with Rolly Ridge. And then you go right. I go up onto the rock so I can do a rock roll. Up on the rock roll. And then down the rock roll. Then we go to diaphragm connector and do a left on that, which is right here. So a left and diaphragm connector. And then we climb out of diaphragm connector and we come on to centerfold, but we're going to go straight for our G's like 75 yards and then we'll go straight on to Middle Earth. And there we go, straight on to Middle Earth, and we'll do the Middle Earth climb in its entirety. For the first video, I went up switchback, but we're going to switch it up today. Middle Earth is a blue intermediate trail, so the entire way. And uh, switchback is Black Diamond, so for those people that don't want to do a full Black Diamond, you can just do Middle Earth the entire way. So we're still on Middle Earth. We're just about to go over there. Very nicely built bridge that Sims made. Weaves through the trees. And then you're gonna have a choice coming up to do a little bit of a left to stay on Middle Earth or to do a right hand, a, quite a sharp right hand corner or switch, play, switch back, but we're just gonna do the left and stay on Middle Earth. So the portion that I'm on now is the newest portion of Middle Earth. And the trail builders did a magnificent job of doing a switchback climb up what was an old sort of skid road and very limited space, did a phenomenal job. Okay, we're still on Middle Earth, and we climbed that for a couple minutes. We're now at the top of it, and we intersect with Waterworks. So we're gonna take Waterworks the entire way. On the last video, I left it and took the Waterworks Harem Scarum connector to Twister. We're gonna do something different this time for, the, uh, for this route number two. So we're just coming into the section of waterworks that the Sims Trail crew has been doing a lot of work on in the last, well, probably a month or so. And they've done a marvelous job again with connecting the trail and reinforcing it with rock. And again, a great time. And then we come to the intersection of where you need to turn left on the waterworks. If you stay right, you'll go on the connector trail up to Twister. So we're left on waterworks. All right, so we're at the end of waterworks, right where it intersects with Dave's line. We're going to do a right, and we're going to go up the bridge to get onto Lost Trail. And they fix this up as well. 
much easier transition to get onto that. It used to be much rockier. So we're now on Lost Trail. We'll come up to a bit of a T intersection and we'll just go right to stay on Lost Trail. If you go left, it'll take us to phase two. So we're still on Lost Trail. We're coming into quite a rooty, rocky section. And you can just stay left. I go right and go down an off camber rock. It's a little wet, but it should be fine. Oh, yeah. Now at the bottom of that, we quickly come to where we need to turn left onto phase two. And we're gonna climb phase two at this portion here. When we, I mentioned it earlier, that was sort of the end of the descent for it, so which we're not gonna be taking today. We're gonna head our way to Jelly Roll. So we're still on phase two. We're just coming up to sort of the one tricky spot on phase two. You sort of have to go through a rock garden, try not to slip. It's not too bad, we'll see how it goes. Very good. So now we just make our way to the beginning of Jelly Roll to do the descent there. So we're now up on the rock plateau where Jelly Roll meets phase two. Also on my left coming up is Breathless. So Breathless I'll be doing for another route episode in the near future or whenever I get around to it. So this features at the outset three rock rolls. Nothing too bad. Just controlling your speed. And on this uh, roll here, lots of people get air off it. I don't. I don't feel comfortable with it. Like your speed in case someone is climbing it. And then we go into the intersection at the end of Jelly Roll of South Ridge, or sorry, North Ridge, Lumpy Pants, and Bubble Wrap. And Bubble Wrap is where we're heading. That's going to be our feature trail for today. There's going to be a number of feature trails, but that's one of them. And it's certainly going to be the longest one. So to go to Bubble Wrap, because there is no sign, they have a, a gray 4x4 post, no sign. You go up over the log, and you're in your way to Bubble Wrap. This is a part of Bubble Wrap. It is on Trail Forks. And this will take us all the way to intersect onto the hiking trail for Mount Work that starts at Ross Durant's Road. So here we go. So we're quickly coming to the end of the first phase of bubble wrap because we're going to be intersecting with the hiking trail like I said earlier and here there is a sign on the tree indicating bubble wrap will be riders left so we take that and then you take your first right and this will take you to an intersection where I'll explain your options then So at this portion of bubble wrap, you have a choice to make. You can go at this junction, go right and do the primary entrance for bubble wrap. For that, you have to deal with climbing up, I think is a rather difficult rock roll uh, with some jeopardy if you go to the far right. So I don't do that. For the longest time I've gone left and entered bubble wrap from the southwest entrance and there will be a sign on the tree down here probably a couple hundred yards 
All right, we've gone down a couple hundred yards, and on my right, there's obviously a distinctive trail, and there's a sign up on the tree to the right with bubble wrap southwest. So this is what we take. It's probably more climbing than the other one, and it's longer, but everything is quite rideable. You still have to go through a bit of a, a rock garden, but it's all good. It's the one I prefer, but who am I? Rider's choice, left or right. So we're still on the Bubble Wrap Southwest entrance trail, and we're gonna be going into a bit of a rock garden. Right here, you're gonna to have to do a step up. It's a little bit wet, but it's usually pretty good. There we go. And then we need to go up a bit of an off camber rock to the right. And we slipped out, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna redo that a little bit. I'm quite sure I can get up it, it's just a little snotty. There we go, no problem. And we carry on with the climbing until we get to the main trail. And coming up is the final grunty little climb to intersect with the trail. There we go. Then we go left. Okay, now we're into a bit of a rocky descent. Nothing too steep or anything, but it is very rocky, so you got to maintain some speed, good control. And then we go over the final little down here, and then straight up, straight ahead of us is an up, which I don't do. Someone built a skull round, which is a couple years ago, I guess, and it sort of saves you from that up there, which is doable. But when it's wet, unless you get through it, it's going to hurt if you fall backwards. So I choose to do this. And then you still have a little bit of a climb up a rock, but it seems to be quite grippy. There we go. And then we just go straight forward and intersect back onto the main trail. Okay, to the left. Very good. And then we come to a little bit of a rocky down. Again, keep control, nothing too difficult about it. And then a little bit of a snotty up. You gotta have some good speed and grip. <laughs> I slipped a couple times when I made it. Very good. Okay, we're coming into a little area here that is rocky and rooty and is wet and mossy right now. So you just got to get a good line and sort of get some good speed. The first part successful, now you got to go up a rock. So you need some good speed. Very good. And just to note, that was my second attempt to do that, so. So we're in a meadowy area right now. It features some rock rolls. Nothing very steep though. The final one is, but you just keep good positioning and you have to do a left-hand turn. But nothing too bad. Easy to control your speed. Left, and then you come up to a 
narrow little ledge that you have to navigate. Take a it. Very good. And then coming up is a snotty sort of little big root and then up a rock climb. It, uh, it's like there's an underwater stream or something because it's always wet here. Up the first part, power up the second part. Very good. Okay, so now we come to a bit of a rockier descent. Nothing that too steep, but you just have to have a good line because you get some jaggedy rocks. Keep down. Keep going down. Get control. And then coming up here, you can, if you go straight on, like straight on, it's a steeper rock roll. You can go to the left and not do that steep rock roll. I go to the right and stay on the original trail. And what will happen is we'll go around and then there will be a, a bypass that they put in or someone put in a couple of years ago to make the trail that much easier. I climb up the rock and go down the ledge. Or at least I try, so here we go. Down the ledge. Control your speed, down the second ledge, very good. Then a right hand turn. Nice. So coming up now is an area that has a very jaggedy rock roll that's quite doable. I usually do it in the summertime. When, it, when it's dry, it's quite wet. And so instead of going through the pucker factor of trying to go down the rock roll, I go to the new bypass trail on the right here that someone has put in. And you still have to really control your speed on the down portion of it. So and it obviously is quite mucky right now. So we'll see how it goes. Just control your speed. Very good. And then it intersects back with the main trail. Okay, and right here, we're getting close to the end of the trail. There is, you go down a dirt chute and then a rocky chute. So that was the dirt chute, nothing too complicated or too long. And then you do a bit of a right. And then you go down the rock bowls. Control your speed, and then we have to climb out. Very good. And then there's one little more descenty kind of area down a rock road to the left, and then you can go straight on. But I go over the roots. Make it more interesting. Right there. Carry on, and then you have some options here. I go through the middle one option. I've never done the left. I've done the right before, which is much. There we go, right beside the tree. And then we take a right-hand turn, and we start making our way back to where the uh, service road is. We're out very close to Ross Durant's road in the parking lot now. So we make our way to finish off Bubble Wrap. And then we head towards Northwest Passage. Very good. Okay, now we're quickly becoming to the end of Bubble Wrap and we'll intersect with the, the hiking trail from Mount Work. And then we'll carry down until we do hit the service road, you do a right, and then you go to the beginning of Northwest Passage, it'll be on your left. Very good. Okay, so we're on the service road, and then we take a left on a northwest passage. And the northwest passage is a relatively new single track, blue intermediate trail that runs parallel to Willis Point Road on my left, 
and then on my right would be the service road that we just turned off so it's a nice little addition so as to keep you off the roads and it'll take us all the way to the intersection for seven to climb that so very good so we're just finishing the first portion of Northwest Passage. We come out to the service road and go straight across to carry on. And this will take us to an intersection point with seven, which is a climbing trail that starts down on Willis Point Road. All right, that is the end of Northwest Passage. And we stay right and we go on to seven. We start climbing seven. Now seven is a switchbacky climbing trail. Well, I guess I've seen people descend it too, not many, but but the first part right here, I think is the most difficult. There's a real tight turn. So I go very, very wide, go very slow, and then turn. Very good. Then we just carry on with the climb. So we are coming to the end of seven. And for this route, we're gonna climb Trillium. So we're gonna go left and start that climb. Trillium is a blue intermediate trail, which is two way. And there's three different sections of it. And we are on the lower section of it for sure. So we're just completing the lower section and we'll be entering the middle section, which is quite short. Okay, so we're just finishing the short middle section and we'll be crossing the service road again to enter the upper section. Then we come into our rocky section. We have to sort of navigate, not too hard. Just keep pedaling. Don't to have too many pedal strikes. Okay, we're coming to the end of climbing Trillium. We're coming to the service road. We'll do a left on the service road. And then we'll go to Who's Your Daddy, which will be on our left. Or as the CRD wants to call it now, WID. So we do that. We go about 30 or 40 yards. Then a left hand turn. And then this is pretty much a descent trail. I also climb it. I think I did that in the first video. So here we go. And this section is an optional little route that you can get a little bit there if you choose. Oops. 
Watch the eyes. And then the next little optional area is more or less just a, a straight shoot where you can get really good speed and then you just gotta climb up the other side. So here we go with that. Very good. So coming up here, I go in to a rocky section that transitions into a rock garden. garden and you have lots of different options of how to go down from here I usually just follow the same path as when I'm climbing and then we make our way down and then we go in to a rock garden at the bottom of it a little bit of speed to go climb up the rock very good very mossy, very wet. Very good direction. Very good. Then we make our way to the end of Who's Your Daddy? Or WYD. And then we go straight on to Trillium. Now Trillium is a blue intermediate two-way trail. This will be sort of like the descent of it. Sorry, I think I called this the wrong name. We're now on, we went from Who's Your Daddy straight on to Night Shift. This is a blue intermediate trail. I'll do a little bit of a nap. Very good. My old man. So coming up on this portion of night shift, we do a rocky, a short rocky descent, then we go up on a rock and then down. And then back down. Okay, now we're coming to the end of night shift and we're going to come onto the service road and go straight across to lower night shift which used to be called axe hole go straight across and then for this trail it'll be a rock hole and then an optional if you want to actually go through the axe hole to the right which i don't do because i'm a chicken and then uh, we go straight down. Very good. On the rock hole. Then we go straight down to the start of shock treatment. So that is the end of lower night shift. I do a left and I climb back up to go down a bit of shock treatment and then we'll be at Easy Rider again then a left on Easy Rider and that'll be it. So down this portion of shock treatment. And then left on Easy Rider. And that is the end of the ride, very good. So that's it for route number two. And like I indicated on the first episode, in the description of the video, I'll put all the different trails that make up the route. And also, I'll only have fragments of uh, each trail that I rode. So if you wanna see a complete video of each trail, 
I have uh, trails on my YouTube site as well as I've linked them to the trail forks. So there you go. Till next time.